Hello YouTube! Welcome to my channel that I'm making for my corporate social responsibility class. I thought that doing vlogs would be a good medium because everybody watches YouTube now and instead of having people just read about it, they can just listen to me talk about the stuff that we are learning in class. So our first big discussion was based on ethics and lying. And most of it was based around personal ethics, but ultimately we're supposed to take that and apply it to businesses that we come in contact with to see if what they think is ethical is along the same lines as what we think is ethical. There are three different kinds of ethics. You can either have your ethics based on consequence, so what is the end result going to be? Purpose, what is the point? The purpose of a business is to make money. And there's also principle that's based on your personal ideas, morals, and values that you've come up with for yourself. When we talk about ethics, it's not choosing between a right and a wrong. It's basically choosing between two wrongs. And you have to ask yourself two things. What do I value most in this situation? And what am I willing to compromise? And that ultimately allows you to make the choice between each of those two really tough decisions. In class, when this would ask us, pick one of the two, most people would think it depends. And when you're not in that situation, that's really the best answer you can give because when you actually get to that situation, what you thought you would do before could completely change. It really does depend on the situation, what's happening, who are the parties involved. Personally, I don't like answering any of these types of questions that Les had us look at in class because it really depends on the situation and I don't like making choices like that out of context, out of the actual situation and so I really feel like I personally cannot answer these questions unless something is actually happening. From there we sort of moved on to lying. One of the questions that Les posed to us was what is a lie and what do we think lying is? Some of the answers from some of my classmates were a form of dishonesty, it's misguiding for personal gain, avoidance of the truth. I sort of think that it's a false statement but also withholding the truth or withholding information because I absolutely hate when people say well I didn't lie to you I just didn't tell you or you didn't ask and that really frustrates me because you're hiding something and I think ultimately that's lying. Les said that it's a method we use to control behavior of others. If we want someone to react a certain way to something, then we're going to tell them a certain thing. Not even necessarily completely disregard the truth, but we could say it in a different way that manipulates how they are going to respond. And so that is a form of control. I was looking online and I found an article from business-ethics.com. It's actually a magazine but they were talking about the BP oil spill. And this article was written in November 2012, but the BP oil spill actually happened in 2010, if you guys remember that. This oil spill actually killed 11 of their workers and dumped 200 million gallons of oil into the Gulf of Mexico, which is an absurd amount of oil. Any amount of oil into the ocean is absurd, but that figure is just, catastrophic. So in November of 2012, BP finally agreed to plead guilty to manslaughter, environmental crimes, and lying to Congress. I find it super interesting because the lying aspect of it was because of David Rainey, who was BP's former deputy incident commander, and he was number two in charge at BP when all of this happened. He misrepresented the amount of oil that actually spilled. He manipulated internal estimates and he withheld data which contradicted public accounts. So they grossly, grossly understated how much went into the actual gulf and how much was actually leaking out after the explosion. So if we look at what we talked about in class about lying, I think one of the students said that his view of lying was a false direct statement in response to a direct question, which if we looked at that and applied it to all of the fraudulent activity done through corporations, so many people would be off the hook. So I'll put a link to that article in the underbar. If you're watching this from my blog, then there'll be a link in the journal entry that I posted before this video. I wanted to leave you with a quote from Sir Walter Scott. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we practice to deceive. Hope you guys like this video. I'll make one next week based on what we talk about in class. So I'll see you then.